Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. Major League Baseball on tap. It's the Boston Red Sox going up against the Kansas City Royals. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about set to go now. So here's the lefty, number 25. Anytime you have five pitches to work with on the mound, that repertoire can be a real weapon in terms of keeping hitters off balance, man. It's it's one of those things that I'm going to be looking for in this one. Does he have a feel for all of those pitches, or is he just able to get one or two over in the strike zone where he wants? Now, it's tough to do to be able to command all those pitches, but if he can, he is going to be very tough for the opponent today. Luis Aparicio stands in now and lets that one go for a strike. First pitch. 7 o'clock. And a pitch. Popped up, middle of the diamond. White under it. And there's one down. As we check out the lineup for the Boston Red Sox. The sluggers in this lineup might not be too happy about the fact that the wind is blowing in today, Chris. Yeah, and you hear pitchers talk about how good it feels when the wind is at their back. And for hitters, you almost feel like beyond just the pitcher coming at you, you've got this other force coming against you. So important to try to get on top of the ball in terms of hitting line drives, you know, maybe really hard ground balls with a good exit velocity that'll get you a base hit because it's very frustrating. You just hit one on the screws, think it's going to go out of the ballpark, and a guy is camped underneath it in front of the warning track. Number eight will hit next. On the ground, and that's just foul. All in one now. Out towards right center field. And a base hit. And that extends the inning. That leaves him without a throw. And he's on at first. And now, Reggie Smith. Reggie Smith. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. And that'll do it. One left for the Red Sox. The Royals will get their chance now in a scoreless ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Bottom of the first, and on the hill in this one, number 23. What do you have on him, singing? It's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day. When he's right, he's really able to keep hitters guessing, and all of his stuff seems to be coming out of the same arm slot, the same tunnel, and that can make life very difficult on his opponents. We go to the bottom of the first. Leading now it's going to be Royals. Frank White. Not shortstop. Frank. The wind of the pitch. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Here comes a pitch. And that's outside. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Here we go. To the right side. Gets it to first. One gone, bottom half of the first. Batting second. Here is Mike Matheny's lineup for the Royals. Here's the second baseman, Cookie Rojas. This is a guy you got to keep an eye on when he digs in. Definitely been known to drop a drag bunt from time to time, and he's pretty good at it, Chris. Yeah, and he creates a, a sense of urgency for the defense because of the speed, because of the ability to put down that bunt. One down, base is empty. Now you see even sluggers from time to time try and use the bunt really as a way 
to beat the shift. Going to count one and two. One ball, two strikes to count. Right-hander kicks deals. And a swing and a miss. And there's two down. <laughs> well, obviously the knuckleball, it's not a pitch designed to blow not by hitters, but you'll Don't see this every out. once in a while. Number you give two. up on that pitch at the plate, and then the last moment it darts back into the strike zone, and you're just not ready to get a swing off in time. Looks like it's 100 miles per hour, and I tell you what, I know from personal experience it's not a good feeling. And first offering is fouled off. Next one in the dirt. 1-0. My drive, base hit. Batting four. Number seven getting ready to hit. Number seven. In there, and it's 0-1. Oh, and yeah, now the 0-1. And yeah, there's a the ball. And one and two. I got to count one and two. Number two off of first with two away. That one hit to right. Evans drifts towards it. He's got it. And that is out number three. So one left for Kansas City. We played an inning. No score. Second inning, set to go. And now it's the catcher for the Red Sox, Leading number 27. The, Sox, the catcher, number 27. And here it comes. And a foul ball. A wind and a pitch. That one ripped, and he makes the catch. One away. Man, that's one of those at-bats where you have to remind that's yourself it. it's about the, the process. Team. He did everything Number right, six. right there. Nothing to show for it, but in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at-bat. <laughs> Bounced out to short, and there's a hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Just one of those seen eye base hits the through the infield. He just kind of rolled Number over 22. on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. Next to hit, number 22. And first offering is fouled off. pitch on the ground right side and that one handled off balance feet there's one to first not in time great effort there tough play right there didn't really have enough time to set his feet and make a strong accurate throw had to rush it but he got it off and he got it there in time to get that out at second base so two down now and here is Dwight Evans that one is absolutely belted and it's off the wall. Rojas with a relay throw. Not in time. He scores. And it's 1-0. Drove that ball nicely. Put a great swing on it. And it jumped off his back. Kind of put it all together there. And he's rewarded with the double. Cooper.
Cecil Cooper up next for the Red Sox. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. That one blasted deep to right. Way back there. Can't get their base hit. Runner from second crosses the play, and they lead by two. And he's got an RBI triple. Back-to-back -back base hits. Really hammered that one down into the right field corner. And clearly, he wasn't just content with the double. Really got going out of the box and hustled his way to turn that into a triple. And next for the Red Sox, Luis Aparicio. On the run, throw to first, third out. We go to the bottom of inning number two. It's the Red Sox two and the Royals nothing. Back here at the ballpark, now it's the DH, number eight. Leading up for the Royals, the designated hitter, number eight. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Next pitch is in the dirt, and the count is one and one. Rusty Valentine calling balls and strikes. Book, something I hear from hitters about Valentine is they know they don't have to protect off the plate too much in two strike counts, and that can be a big deal in terms of your confidence and seeing some pitches in that at bat. And the right hander deals. And down on strikes he goes, and that's the first out. Well, he froze him with a great fastball right on the corner. It's kind of like bowling. You think the ball's going to get into the gutter, and somehow it just hangs onto that edge and knocks down a pin. Well, he got the outside corner of the plate and got that call third strike. So digging in, number 11. Swings through that one, 0-1. Oh and, one. and a pitch. And that one fouled off. The wide to kick the pitch. Ball. Stays alive. The pitch. And now the count is even. Well, he might have to look for a different put away pitch right here, 2 2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. That's towards center. Number 22 settles under this one and makes the grab. Two down. Batting seven, the first baseman. Jerry. Two outs, base is empty. Yeah. And a batter now, Cherry May. Kind of a throwback. No batting gloves. First pitch, just misses. Oh. Next offering misses, and now 2-0. And a pitch. And it is two and one.
Riding to the plate. And a swing and a miss. Two down, nobody on. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. KC down in order. They trail things here, 2-0. Welcome back. On to the third inning. And stepping in for Boston, Leaving Doug Griffin. Boston. The second baseman. Doug. The pitch. Griffin. This to center field. Number seven. Sizing this one up. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One down. Now batting. Number eight. And here's the first baseman. Number eight. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Left-hand batter waits. There's a swing and a drive. And that one is out of here. That'll fire up the dugout, and they tack one on the board. It's 3-0. When a guy's got a real hard fastball, you can't overswing. All you've got to do is get the bat head to the spot. If you do, he supplies the power, and you'll get to jog around the bases like he did right there. So one out, nobody on. Here's the Boston cleanup hitter, Reggie Smith. Left fielder, number seven. Reggie. Lifted in the air, right field. Makes the catch. Two away down. Now batting, number 27. Number 27, the next to hit. Right side, hard hit. That's out number three. Boston with another on the solo blast. It's now 3-0. As we go to the last of the third. So up Lee now for Kansas for City, Royals. number 45. The catcher, number 45. The wind of the pitch. There's the strike. Man, that pitch was dotted. So much talent on display when this guy's out there on the hill. And the righty deals. And that one fouled off. The next offering misses. And that is ball one. Kicks and deals. Down on strikes. One gone here. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that Batting time, a little anxious. Third baseman, number five. Number five steps in for the Royals. Here we go. Ah. And that's in there for strike one. Kicks and fires. Strike two. From a pitcher's perspective, that's a beautiful splitter right there. As a hitter, you don't like it, but he's commanded his fastball, and out of that same tunnel, that splitter comes, and the bottom just falls out of it. 
swing and a miss. Struck him out. And two straight set down to begin the bottom of the third. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. Frank White steps in for the Royals. In there for strike one. And he's down 0-2 as he Owen. swings through it. Two outs. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And he'll two. That one fouled off. The pitch. He swings and fouls one off. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. And that is that. Royals bats are quiet there. They trail in this one, 3 nothing. And welcome back. New inning getting started. Here's the third baseman, number six. The third baseman, number six. And he deals. Lifted in the air right center field. Number 11 in position. And puts the squeeze on that. And there's one away. Now batting. Number 22. So stepping in for Boston. Number 22. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Boog, it looks like somebody missed the swing sign. That's the first pitch this team's taken for a ball all game long. The lefty to 1-0. Out to center. Number seven under it. And puts the squeeze on that one. Two down. Up next for the Red Sox. The right fielder, Dwight. Evans. So up next, Dwight Evans. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, it will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. First offering misses badly for ball one. The 1 0. Ground ball right side. Tosses the first, out number three. On now to the bottom of the fourth. It's the Red Sox three and the Royals nothing. Back here at the ballpark, bottom four at the play. Cookie Rojas. For the, Royals, the second baseman, Cookie. The pitch. Rojas. That one inside. drifts inside. Swings and misses and one down below the zone. Foul ball. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. Beats him for the first out and that completes the strikeout. Now back. Number two. And next up for the Royals, number two. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. 
That one's in there, 0 and 1. But this guy's definitely a plus runner. But what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. 0 and 2 now. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Two out. Quite the start to this game on the mound. Looking very dangerous to these hitters. Nevada. Seven punch outs already. So this lineup hasn't had much success trying to figure them out. I'm impressed with what we're seeing here. Two outs, base is empty. Next to hit, number seven. Swing and a pop-up in foul ground. And makes the play, and that's out number three. Royals go down one, two, three. Still down, three nothing. Ready now for the fifth inning, and now the DH, Cecil Cooper. Leading off for the Red Sox, the designated hitter, Cecil Cooper. Here comes the pitch. And a foul ball. The 0-1. Now a screamer into the outfield. Jumps, but it's off his glove. The throw into second. He makes the throw, but it's not in time. And they come away without an out. A little more backspin on that instead of the top spin. And he's jogging around the bases rather than pulling up at second. So the batting order turns over. Now here's the Red Sox leadoff hitter, Luis Aparicio. First offering, misses the mark. Luis Aparicio was a trendsetter in one major way. He was the first Venezuelan player inducted into the Hall of Fame. And now the lefty. Foul ball there. Cooper stands at second with no outs. Out to short. White collects. Fires over to first. One away here in the fifth. Now batting. Second baseman. Doug Griffin. Doug Griffin now at the plate. In the air, out towards right center. And puts the squeeze on it. That's out number two. Now batting, number eight. And next for the Red Sox, number eight. That one to first. May handles the chance. He steps on the bag, and that is that. And the Red Sox leave one, but they lead it 3 0. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. So here's the Royals DH, number eight. The Royals in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. And here it comes. Here and there's a strike. 0 and 1. Bounce to the right, and that chance handled, and he handles it himself for the out. Well, on the mound, very efficient, able to produce an outcome, it Number seems 11. like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at-bat. 
And now the right fielder, number 11. And he swings and misses, and it's oh, nothing at one. The old one. On the ground, right side, and it goes just foul. The 0 2. Good eye right there. Well, that's kind of what you expect in an 0 2 count. Excellent job of the hitter to have the plate discipline to lay off of that pitch. And the right hander deals. Stays alive. The one two. Ground ball left side. Tosses to first. Two up, two down. The first baseman, number 12, Jerry May. Two outs, base is empty. And now the first baseman, Jerry May. In there, and it's 0-1. And, and the pitch. The other way. And base hit. And that keeps the inning going. Only two hits allowed so far tonight, Boog, so I don't think that one will disrupt his momentum all that much. You know, he's really been on top of his game, commanding his pitches all night long. Number 45 will hit next. And yeah, that's in there for strike one. one and there's a foul ball right hander kicks deals swing and a miss struck him out and that is the third out of the inning Royals leave one they trail it here three nothing Welcome back. Start of the six, John Shambi with Chris Singleton. And leading Lead off, off Reggie side. Smith. The left fielder, Reggie Smith. Strike him out. The wind of the pitch. Now fly ball to right center. Number 11 going back on this one. Pops over the wall, and that's an automatic double. The automatic double kind of feels like enjoying cruise control in your car, Boog. You don't need to keep the pedal down as you cruise into second base. Just no worries in the world. You know what? He put a really good swing on that one. And the Royals manager making his way towards the mound now as he will make the move. Number 25 is done. It's a three-run game, and we'll be back to tell you about the new arm in a minute. So the Royals bring on a new arm, number 40, and he'll do his best to keep this close. Well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and he need a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. And here is number 27. Line drive, base hit. Stop sign goes up at third. Runners at the corners. Nobody out. Now well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. there. Pitch was in and off the plate. So hard to do anything with the pitch in that location, but somehow he got the barrel to it and hit it well. Pretty amazing. And stepping in for Boston, number six. First pitch doesn't find the zone.
Number seven on third. Number 27 on at first with nobody out. Ground ball left side could be two. The throw to second and a run scores on the double play. First and third, nobody out. You're thinking you've got it lined up for a pretty big inning right here. So that double play is pretty deflating. They get the run in, but now they're starting all over. Two outs, base is empty. Joe stepping in for Boston, number 22. Swings through that one, 0-1. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. And a count is See how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing, that high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. A little roller up along first. And foul ball. The why to kick the pitch. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. That's the third out. 9-1 and 2 scheduled to hit in the home half of the six. The Red Sox four and the Royals nothing. And welcome back. Bottom of the inning. Now the third baseman, number five. For the Royals, the third baseman, number five. The pitch. Late on that fastball. I'm impressed by the number of first pitch strikes. He's not afraid of contact. Some guys, they'll nibble just because they don't want to get hit hard. That's not what we're seeing here. Righty to the plate. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Here's the 0-2. Stays alive. Righty delivers. Swing and a miss. Curveball in the dirt. Got him. One away on the strikeout. Now that the shortstop. Frank White. Back to the top of the lineup, Frank White steps in for the Royals. This is a guy who's in the lineup first and foremost because of what he contributes defensively, Chris. And when you talk about preventing runs from being scored, this guy is a big contributor. And there's two down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work Second behind baseman. him with another ground ball. Good, Good execution. Rojas. Now it's the second baseman, Cookie Rojas. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. That fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. And the 1 Swing and a miss. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Number 22 sizes this one up, makes the catch in a goal. KC down in order. They're down 4-0. Back here at the ballpark, we go to the top of the seventh. Now it's the right fielder, Dwight Leading Evans. For Boston, the right fielder, Dwight Evans. The pitch. 
Out towards right center field. Number seven on the move to his left. And it's caught for the out. Now batting the designated hitter, Cecil Cooper. Next is the designated hitter, Cecil Cooper. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen, Dave Roberts. The left-handed reliever appears to be getting loose. Yo won. Swings through that one. Two pretty nasty sliders to get this hitter in an 0-2 count. If you're up there at the plate, you gotta look up in the zone and spit on anything that's down. He makes the catch, and there's two down. The batter, number 11, shortstop, Luis Aparicio. So the Red Sox lineup turns over. Luis Aparicio up next for the Red Sox. And that one is lifted in the air. Makes the play, and it's out number three. Red Sox go down one, two, three. They lead 4 nothing. Bottom of the seventh. And now here is number two. Leading up for the Royals. The left fielder, number two. And a pitch. And a strike. Pretty amazing, his first pitch strike percentage, over 90%. You know you're getting something in the zone first pitch. So if you're a hitter, you got to be ready to let it fly, even though he's had a lot of success on that first pitch of the at-bat. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Puts it away for the out. Now batting, number seven. Here's the center fielder, number seven. Swing and a line drive caught. Now batting, number eight. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the Royals designated hitter, number eight. In there for strike one. A one down. On the ground to short. Aparicio fires over to first. That's the inning. Nothing doing for the Royals. They trail it here for nothing. We go to the eighth. Now the number two hitter, Doug Griffin. Leading off for the Red Sox, the second baseman, Doug Griffin. The pitch. And fouled off. The 0-1. Rolled over to third, and that one handled. The throw to first, first out in the top of the eight. Now battle, number eight. And next for the Red Sox, number eight. And a ground ball to first. Can't field it cleanly. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. And a couple of quick outs. Fastball groove right down oh, the middle. Right. Usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air. Maybe drive it into the gap. Two outs, base is empty. Reggie Smith up next for the Red Sox. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Two down, nobody on. That one the other way. 
No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. That is the inning. Nothing doing for Boston. But they lead it four to nothing. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. And now the right fielder, number 11. Leading up for the Royals. The, the right fielder, number 11. Here we go. He was late there, strike one. And a pitch. Swings through that. That he is just dialed in right now. Every pitch thrown with so much conviction. Going two now. And a base hit up the middle. And the leadoff man aboard. Really nice job of two strike hitting in that at bat. I could watch batter. base hits like First that one all day long, Jerry. and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. To third might be two. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. Now batting. My goodness, Chris, he had to generate a ton of power in that jump throw for the out. Let's take another look and dive into the numbers from StatCast. Man, that's an impressive throw right there. I mean, you've got to have a powerful arm to play third base in the big leagues, and he just showed us why he's at this level. He has a cannon. Number 45 steps in for the Royals. That one's in there 0 and 1. These fans, they are ready to cheer about something. And he'll one. There's the swing and a miss. Man, that's just a nasty splitter. Bottom falls out of it. You don't see a lot of guys throw that these days, but I tell you what, he's got a good one. Could be extra bases. And that's going to get into the corner. The run comes in from second. It's 4-1. And he's got a double. Well, he found himself behind in the count right there, but he didn't give in. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Here's the third baseman, number five. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. At the belt and fires. Swings and misses. 0-2. Tapped up the first base side, and that's just foul. Left-hand batter waits. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Number 45. The runner at second with one away. Next offering is downstairs. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick because word will get around the league in a hurry. And now Frank White. And the inning is over. One in the inning, and it comes from a rather unlikely power source. It's now 4-1.
Welcome back. All set for the start of the inning. And now the catcher comes up to him. Number 27. The catcher. Number 27. Here comes a pitch. Ripped to short. Slings it across. And they get the leadoff man in the ninth. Now batting. Number six. And stepping in for Boston, number six. Up the middle, that's a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Oh, that started and ended pretty quickly. No now messing battle. around right there. Number really 22. nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. So, man aboard. Number 22 up next for the Red Sox. Swings and pulls it foul to the right side. Kicks and fires. And that one wrapped foul. And the 0-2. Liner snagged it first. Takes it to the back himself, but he's back in time. The back. The right. Still stepping in for Boston, Dwight Evans. That's the third, and it's off the bag. Sneaks through, base hit. Throw in, holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. There's something about pulling one down the line and shooting it through the infield that's just so satisfying as a hitter. It's just fun turning on a pitch like he did right there. Now here's the Red Sox DH, Cecil Cooper, for the fourth time tonight. Two on, two outs. Line drive, base hit. The run comes in from second. It's 5-1. Couple of hits in a row for him here. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. So the lineup flips over. Now here's the Red Sox leadoff hitter, Luis Aparicio. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. One run is in. Cooper around third. He'll score. Two runs are in. It's 7-1. First pitch swing in, went up there with a the plan to be the aggressive. Two, I'll tell you, man, base. it's such a good feeling yeah. when you smoke a line drive into the gap like that. I mean, sure, home runs are king, but I feel like nothing makes you feel like a true professional hitter You're more right. than a bolt the other way. Now, New pitcher in the game for the Royals, Dave Ford. And he'll be dealing Dave. with a runner on third. Four. And next for the Red Sox, Doug Griffin. Fought off foul. <laughs> he swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Drops into the glove. And the inning is over. 2-3-4 set to hit in the bottom of the ninth. It's the Red Sox 7 and the Royals 1. Bottom nine. Here's the second baseman, Cookie Rojas. Leading up for the Royals, the second baseman, Cookie Rojas. The wind of the pitch. And he grounds one to the right side. Sends it to first. One out, bottom of the ninth. 
the bat. Number two. And to the plate for Kansas City. Number two. In the air, right side, Evans racing over to make the catch. Now batting, number seven. Two outs, base is empty. And now it'll be the cleanup spot for the Royals. Number seven. Let's go. Swings through that one, 0-1. Oh Just one out away, try to close it out. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The 0 2. That one to first, and it finds its way through for a hit. And that keeps the inning alive. There's nothing cheap about now the way he got that one through the infield. Eight. That was ripped, cut out in front, and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on. So two down. So up now for Kansas City. Number eight. First pitch, and he just misses. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, just about to hit that century mark. 100 pitches for this game. That misses, and it's 2-1. and one. Number 7 off of first with 2 away. Righty deals. 3 2, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Next offering is fouled back. In the air, right field. And he'll put it away. Ball game. And the Red Sox take this one in a blowout. It seemed like from the first pitch of this ball game, this guy was going to get it done. A quality start, who knew? He'd throw a complete game and get the victory. But an excellent job of continuing to just throw what the catcher put down. He navigated through this ball game, a jam here, a jam there. But ultimately, it was an outstanding outing. And a 7-1 finish in this one for Chris. Hand off my penis!